Hey guys, this is Eve with Scrapbooking with Me, and it is Thursday. Even though this was our Valentine YouTube hop, we are still going to do our faith journal. So, first I'm going to, and I think, I think I'm going to gesso my pages first, because I've got a little bit of stuff on them. need to go over and check out everyone's videos on the YouTube hop. We are having so much fun. There are so many talented people in this. Christopher Allen from Brutus Monroe. May May from May May Made It. And Jennifer, one of our um, design teams. Beatrice, one of our design team members. Loretta, our design team member. Tristan, one of our faithful members of our group. Tristan Blakeman. And then we have Hector Nugal One, which is Emmy. She's very, very, very talented. I am telling you, I love her video. She has... Um, has a video up. And let's see, did I forget anybody? Oh, Jennifer Stevens, A Trace of Sparkle. I think it's a trace. She um, is one of our admins, and from time to time she does a video for us for on our guest design team. What I did next was um, this is just plain deli paper, and let me see if I can zoom out. I'm sorry. There we go. This is just regular deli paper, and I buy it like 5,000 sheets at a time or something. And if you want your deli paper to look like it has a crackled effect, all you need to do is just take your deli paper, and I'm sorry about the noise, but there's not much way I can do this without making noise. Just crinkle it up, and then spread it back out. And if you think you've got enough um, crinkles in there, then you can leave it like that. And then if you want to just take your ink pad and make sure it's kind of spread pretty flat. And then just very lightly go over. And what it will do is it will pick up all of those layers, just the layers that are sticking up on this deli paper. And I think it is so pretty. I love it. Now, I would use, if you're going to put anything on the top of this, I would use an archival ink. This is the um, Ranger archival ink. Isn't that pretty? And this is in magenta hue. Very pretty. But isn't that pretty? On this one, I used a little of the magenta hue and some of the... Um, frayed burlap. This is not, if I want to put other um, like whip spackle or I want to put collage or if I want to put other mediums on the top, this is going to reactivate so I probably won't use this one on this page. I will probably use this one because this is acid-free permanent waterproof. So this is a waterproof ink. So when I put the other mediums on there, it's not going to reactivate it. And that's what I want. And I did this today on our YouTube hop. This was the little tile that I made. And I'm going to be using that on my page. But I want to soften this a little bit. I think that's a little bit too harsh. So I think I'm going to use sepia on here. Some of this sepia on there and tone it down just a little. And if you want any of this deli paper, just let me know. I've got tons and tons of it. I will send you some in your package. I do not mind at all. 
Okay, again that was sepia and this is magenta hue. So it's just a little bit of color there that will tone that magenta down. Okay, so now we want to put the daily paper down on our sheet and we're going to use the collage podge collage podge that's hard for me to say in matte and this is like a glue what did I do there we go You want to make sure you get it right up to the edges, but I'm going to slide this one in there so that I don't glue my sheets together. I did that last week. Okay, this is a little much for this page. I'm always heavy handed when it comes to glue and things like that. I know nobody else does that right. Okay, so we'll put this one down first. Let's make sure that we've got enough for both sides. And then I just press it down. You can take a brayer, whatever. I just I don't want to get all of the wrinkles out of it, so I just press it down this way. It's okay with me if it has lots of wrinkles. I have lots of wrinkles, so the more wrinkles the better. Okay, a little bit up there. Okay, we'll turn this over. Work on this side. And let's see, put something under this one too. I'm sorry, I know you can hear my phone beeping, but since our video is just loaded up for the YouTube hop, I'm trying to keep an eye on things that are going on because we have had some problems with YouTube today. I had some people message me and say that they can't get their video up or they can't watch one because it is freezing up on them. So if you have problems, just um, you know, wait a little while, reboot your computer and maybe come back. That's what I had to do a couple of times. I had trouble getting it to load today, so just one of those things. That's technology for you. Okay. This is a little bold for what I'm going for. I'm afraid my background will overpower everything. So all I'm going to do, and I've got a wet brush. And I'm just, I watered down my gesso. So this is a little bit of gesso and then I wet my brush and put it on there just to water it down a little bit because I don't want it to cover it all. I just want to kind of push it to the background. And see that ink stays put because it is an archival ink. There we go. I like that better. You can still see it, but it's it just kind of pushes it to the background. Okay. See, my water is not exactly clean, <laughs> but that's okay. And if you feel like you've got a little bit too much on there, just take a baby wipe and go over it. And this is a baby wipe that doesn't have a lot of wetness to it, so I've had it out for a little while. 
take a baby wipe and go over it and you can take a little bit of that off. So we have prepped our page. Let's go over this again. We prepped our page with gesso. Then we put our crinkled deli paper down. And then I toned it down a little bit more with more gesso just because it was a little bit too bright, bold in your face. And now what I, I want to create, I cut out a lot of butterflies. And I want to create kind of a butterfly rainbow. And this was inspired by Vicki. And I will try to remember to put her link below. She does beautiful art journal pages. I'll try to remember to put her information below the video so that you can go check her out. She is wonderful. I absolutely love watching her videos. I might put another one down here on this end. Okay, I like that. So we'll start gluing these down. And I am just going to use some of my glitter glue and just put them flat down on your page. I know with butterflies you want to have the wings and everything sticking up but um, on, on your art journal pages you kind of need to have things flat but we're going to do something to these that will make them look like they're three-dimensional anyway. Let's see, I think I want this side. And don't put them even. You know, you need to kind of alternate, go back and forth, uh, turn them different ways, just to make it look like it's a for real butterflies flying over. So all of our butterflies are glued down. Now we're just going to trim off the ones that are kind of running off the page. Okay. And we put some little ones, some big ones, and just kind of mixed them up. And now, just to make sure that they stay down well, I'm going to put a coat of the collage podge over. That will also help keep our pages from sticking together. I love this stuff too. This is fantastic. If you do any art journaling or anything like that, that is some great stuff. Pages do not stick together when you use this, unless you're like me and you stick them together beforehand. Okay, so I think it's dry, and this is our quote that we're going to be using this week. And since this is February, the month of love, this week and next week, we'll be using some quotes from the Bible about love. And this one is just John 3.16. I know most everybody knows that. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And then this is the little art tile that I made today in the YouTube pop video. And it just says, God is love with a little heart on there. So we're going to focus our scripture over here. And then probably our quote, you know, over here somewhere. I mean, our little art tile. So before we put our scripture down, we're going to do a little bit of stenciling. And I want to use the whip spackle. And this is from Faber-Castell. And I'm hoping this is still really good because it's been a little while since I've used any of it. Oh yeah, it seems to be. And I'm just going to put it in random spots, not being particular. So in order to do stenciling, you know, you need either modeling paste, um, this is whipped spackle, you need something that is going to give you some texture. And then I will zoom in in just a moment so that you can see that because I know you cannot see it from where you are. I love to do this effect.
and depending on how much um, what the you know how high you want everything how dimensional you want it is depending on you know how much you put on there if you want it if you don't want it very dimensional then you need to scrape as much off as you can if you want it pretty dimensional then just leave as much on there as possible let it be raised up why is it when you're doing these videos you can't think of words to say or at least I can't the words don't come to me let's put a little down here I will take that and wash it in just a moment. Right now we're going to save all of this that we can and put it back in our jar. Because this stuff is precious. It's not that expensive. I just love it. So I save all that I can. Close that up. Now I'll zoom you in so that you can see what effect this has. Let me get you closer. You see the dimension that it gives on there? Oops. I'm about to drop my book. You see that dimension? And it looks like little bubbles are you know something to that effect I used my heat tool to speed up the drying on that spackle just a little bit it dries pretty quick but I'm very impatient so and now what I want to do is I told you we could, there was an effect that you could do to make your butterflies stand out off the page so what we're going to do is use our micron and this is 0.02 archival ink pen and we're going to go around each one of them and I'm just going to do and I'm not I'm I have a shaky hand. I've told you that before. I am going to just go around one on camera and then I'm going to shut it off and try to do these very carefully. The rest of them off camera. I don't have that steady hand that I used to have. And you see what a difference that makes in these two that are highlighted around with this black pen and the ones that are not it just makes that pop off the page so we're going to go ahead and do the rest of these and then we'll be right back we outlined all of the butterflies with our black micron pen now i want to give them a little bit of movement just by adding a few little highlights here and there and on some of these it's not going to show very well because they're light already but once a moment it will we'll just give them a little bit of movement I don't know if you can see that a lot of that Let's zoom in just a little and see if you can see what that looks like it just gives some you know it gives you that little bit of shine a little bit of movement so that it looks like they're real on the page and not just something that I drew on there okay and here is our quote so we want to put this here and I need to I want to put some ink around it because it's a little bit plain so I'm going to use the same ink that I used in the background. If you repeat your colors on your page, that makes your page look more uniform. And I think I want this down here. I don't 
I don't really want it up there because I'm not, I don't know, it might be okay there. So I think I'm going to put this here. Move this up a little bit. And I'm just going to put this straight down to the page. And I'm going to put lots of glue because I've got that texture on there. So it's going to make it a little bit hard to stick down. Alright, and then we'll put this, and I think this will be fine, gluing this down this way. If it tries to come up, we'll put some hot glue behind it, but I don't think it will. I think it'll be fine. Let's see, let's don't put it too close to that, to those, um, the binding there, because we don't want it to get in the way of our closing. For a moment, and I'm thinking we're gonna call that one done. I really like it, I think it's beautiful. I love this verse, I love using my art tile that I did today in here. I love the rainbow of butterflies, just everything feels free. So, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you like these. And also share yours with us on our Facebook group. It is Scrapbooking With Me Members Group. Come over and share your art journals or your faith journals, your Bible journals, whatever. Share those with us. I would love to see them. Talk to you guys later. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye-bye.